going on, everybody? Turn off the music so it's not so jarring. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining me so late. I normally start at 9.30 on these Thursday nights, sometimes at 9, but uh, starting a little bit later tonight, had some stuff to take care of. But, uh, yeah, I forgot. What was I doing last time? Wasn't I in Philia's uh, prize fight? I think I missed it. I did not get my gold Philia. Um, yeah, I probably won't be going for that. I might grind some, crack some heads tonight. Um, possibly. I'm not sure yet. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, Bakoshi, how's it going? Uh, Marie. Uh, howdy. Uh, Senor Pinguino. Pingu Penguin? Senor Pinguino? Pinguino? Senor Penguino. Man, my tip jar is all messed up. They ruined it. It has sound? I didn't know that. Anyways, what's up, Osprey? Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, let's dive right in, shall we? Um, what do I got going on tonight? Nothing in the COC. Uh, though I have been occasionally purchasing elemental shards, just in case. 600 green shards, 535 red. 545 yeah um, let's go claim my free daily gift always nice a bunch of offers got some Dahlia moves in the store if you've been wanting some Dahlia move upgrades prize fight rewards no relics, but I think I already knew that. Some canopy coinage. Good to go. Alright, uh, let me go check my friends list. So y'all can see that you're not on it. Just kidding. Some of you actually are. Uh, Houston Boss and Climax, thank you. Uh, we got Maximum Overdrive, thank you. Sky Bay, thank you, Sky. That's it. Nothing but gold gifts. I forgot to send myself energy refills again, didn't I? Oh, man. Uh, will there be rewards for being on the stream today? No. Tommy Boy with a gold gift. Thank you. Uh, I have not... We have not implemented a way to get rewards uh, for every stream. So, uh, that'll come uh, this year, though, I hope. Uh, Super Kirby. Thank you. Maybe I'll do rift battles tonight if I don't have any uh, energy refills. Reshiram, our friend, Reshiram18. Thank you. Melon, thank you. Woo, baby. Premier Relic, let's go. Uh, Ike, Zender, thank you very much. Uh, Honest, Patches, thank you. He Guns, McBuns, thank you very much. Um, Evil Gordo for Rift Coins. Appreciate it. Uh, Bob. What's up, Bob? Uh, I'll sit down tonight before bed. <laughs> awesome. All right. Baxton. Tradition here. Does Baxton gift me a relic? I already got one premier relic. Can Baxton get me another one? It uh, feels great to be back in the game now, weirdly. Right. Back back to Skullgirls Mobile, huh? Were you were you a, a Skullgirls Mobile player from years ago and came back to find yourself blocked, like you couldn't log in and then we fixed that issue, or did you get in no problem? Or are you talking about something completely different? All right, here we go. Baxton, 10... Thousand canopy coins way before Annie. Nice. Um, so that is a nay, no, my dippy down gaming. <laughs> uh, look at the size of this glass of water. 
Uh, he left for a while and you regret it hard. Yeah, that's the, that's the, tr the trouble of uh, leaving a mobile game especially because by design most mobile games uh, that are games as a service type game, service game, Prismo with a nine month prime resub. Just want to stop by and say hi. Pulled a double today. You have another tomorrow. Wow. Busy, busy, busy. Making that money. Alright, we'll see you next time. Um, Prismo with the nine month subscriber badge. Nice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so like, for example, Knighthood. I don't know if you've played Knighthood, but Knighthood is an incredible game. Uh, gave me like, like, almost like World of Warcraft style animation, like that kind of feel, like very cartoony, but still really grounded. Really, really, uh, really, really well done game. Um, just a great game, really great game. Uh, and I just got into it, man. I just played it every day, did my dailies every day. And at some point I just like dropped off. I finished the story content. Uh, they introduced some other events that I just couldn't quite get completely into and I, th I think that's what happened. I just kind of like felt like I didn't have much else to do or something and then other mobile games came out and I was like hopped over to those, right? But now I'm like, like, oh right, Knighthood, I should go back to that. But like trying to get back into it is so hard. It's like, I don't, I still don't know what to do. There's new story mode, but when I play that new chapter of the story mode, I'm not like equipped to do it, so I die like immediately. It's like I don't know where to begin. So now I haven't gone back. I try I try to go back. I was like, oh right, this isn't fun, and I'm out, right? So that's the challenge, because these games are designed where it's just like they just kind of keep they're, they're intended to keep going, you know. Ideally you'll keep playing Skullgirls Mobile, like a little bit every day at least, right? That's why we have the daily the daily missions, the daily ops to, to, to keep you engaged so you have a, at least a, a minimum to aspire to on a daily basis. Like, I'm gonna go do my dailies, right? Um, that's a common common saying in, the, in video game culture. So, but once you stop, it's like you come back and you're like, ah. Uh. And the cool thing about Skullgirls Mobile though, it's like, I think it's very clear, like the core thing is like to get in do some fights, right? And you're like, all right, here's the collection I have. These are the characters I have. I can, I, I'm confident I can accomplish these goals. Like, I can go into this prize fight and have some success, you know? Um, so I, I would hope that uh, coming back to uh, Skullgirls Mobile won't be too challenging. But that is a, that is a really powerful question to ask uh, players that come, that haven't played in a while. I wonder if uh, Juju is, uh, tracking that data somehow I think some I think that might have been part of some survey we did recently but I don't know anyways welcome back to the game <laughs> um, I do have a premiere relic to open so I'm gonna go do that Another game that I played the hell out of, probably after Knighthood, was AFK Arena, which I really, really liked. And then I just kind of stopped playing that as well. So I don't quite remember why. Uh, when is the new update? When the new update comes, I'm going to guess you're asking when's the new update coming out. Uh, pretty soon. I'll say that much. Uh, like, like, the traditional soon. Like it's 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 soon, but is it really soon? That kind of soon. <laughs> um, all right, what kind of what fighter do I get? Bronze or silver from this premiere relic? We're, we're hoping for X bot. That's the only that's the only diamond I really really want lately. Ah, that's good. I didn't know I had this Dodgers All Star game. Or Los Angeles All-Star Game Cup. I thought someone else brought it over. It's really sturdy. When did we get this? I don't know. It's just a really good glass. Really heavy. Alright, here we go. Heart of the Cards. 
That's bronze. Anybody bet? Nobody bet. Good. I've you've, got, you've lost all faith in your ability to get guess correctly, eh? All right. All right. Uh, we have daily events. What's the daily event? Uh, can I skip any of these? I wonder. Anger management. Did I do these at all? I've done expert. Uh, a clone with my thoughts. I've done expert. I don't think I have a decent Fukua to do master. Holodeck hazards. Obviously, I can't skip that. A curse experiments. I haven't done yet. Um, but I'm gonna go into prize fights. And at least do some of these uh, advanced just a little bit more. At least use up my energy. Yeah, I just lost a 28 win streak. Samurai Gamer Pony. Some quality opponents here. Yeah, where's my energy refills at? It's consumables, right? It's, isn't it supposed to be up here? Oh, there it is. I have three! Ugh. Damn, man. I keep forgetting. I'm gonna set a note to myself to make sure I have energy refills for next time. It makes it tough to stream this game if I can't play it for that long. But I did kind of have a feeling that I wouldn't play that long anyways tonight, because uh, I do have to get up very early tomorrow. I'm going, uh, my uh, almighty wifey and I are going to Super Nintendo World out here at uh, Universal Studios in Los Angeles. So uh, we are going to ride Mario Kart carts and uh, whatever else they got. So it should be fun. But we want to get up early and like uh, get there before the crowds. Hopefully. I mean, it is a Friday, so maybe, but I mean, it's probably a lot of tourists anyways. So who knows? Hopefully we get there early enough and there's not too many people. We can get in line for whatever the, the big popular rides are at Super Nintendo World. Final stand! Pink Boyd, KBN with the three month prime resub. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I am I'm saving up for a new graphics card uh, so I can stream uh, yet more games uh, at higher quality. So I appreciate your subs very much. Uh, Wish Twitch Prime would let me use the free sub on the app. <laughs> it doesn't let you do that. That's weird. Twitch has got all sorts of problems. I mean, literally, like, the the last... So, like, the people that founded Twitch, right? Uh, the final guy who was part of the original team that started Twitch 20 years ago, like, left the company today. He resigned. He's like, that's it. I'm out of here. So there's literally nobody at Twitch is part of the original crew that founded the company, which is just crazy to me. It's like, what what has to happen that your own company, you're like, I can't keep doing this. <laughs> I get it. Everybody's got to retire at some point. But it's like, shoot, 20, 20 years, it's only a 20 year old company. It's not 20 years old. It started with uh, Justin.tv, if you remember that, which is kind of like an illegal. A lot of people used Justin TV just to stream like reruns of The Simpsons and stuff, which you're not supposed to do on their own servers, right? But that was kind of the that was kind of the thing. You stream whatever the hell you want. Yeah, Twitch. I've I've used the Twitch mobile app every once in a while, and it's not very good. You can do a pro gamer move? Give me five minutes. Okay. 
you're gonna double double view. You're gonna watch on browser and the app. And I can't tell you how many times in my giveaways that uh, people ask me, "How do I whisper you?" Because they're on the their cell phone on the app, and I'm like, I don't know. Um. Yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, but no, on the topic of uh, Twitch drops, I think that's that's something that I'm going to push that we get started working on in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully uh, we'll have the bandwidth to actually do that. And then uh, sometime soon that'll go in and uh, we can do proper Twitch drops for Skullgirls Mobile, which will be really cool. Running wild. Eliza. Let's do this, <sighs> darling. Can't sub on mobile. Huh. That's crazy. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know how long I'll be streaming tonight. We'll see how I feel. I do need to get to... I probably gotta get to bed by midnight for once in my life. Um, but tomorrow night, after I get back, I'm gonna do a really quiet stream late at night because I'm gonna be too excited about Diablo 4. Um, I trust that I will be able to stream it. I don't know if I'll be able to. That's part of what tomorrow is for. Another reason why I need a, a graphics card. But uh, Diablo 4 has been getting a lot of praise for their, um, their design of the game and how they're able to get it to run on very low, low end systems. Um, so it sounds like they've got something in place that even on lower end systems uh, it'll still have pretty solid graphics I mean I have a really since I've upgraded my computers actually really nice I just don't have a graphics like a decent graphics card I mean I, I mean to be fair my graphics card is actually pretty decent it's a GTX 770 is an old graphics card but a very highly touted highly respected high quality graphics card um, it still does the jobs. I mean, I can still stream games and, and uh, all that, so, you know, it's more than most people can probably say. Um, so I am grateful that I at least have a, a, a graphics card that allows me to do the stuff that I want to do. Um, but yeah, the minimum requirements for Diablo 4 was like a GTX 550, which is even older than my graphics card, so... I'm kind of like, well, if that's the minimum, then in theory, I should be able to uh, stream the game because I can just turn down the settings to pretty low. And then uh, hopefully most of the computing uh, graphics processing is just the webcam and all that stuff and the decoder that I need to uh, actually stream the stream stuff. So, but the game doesn't actually release until June anyway. so. The plan is by June I will have upgraded my graphics card. So your your donations, uh, your subscriptions, all that stuff is going towards that. Because um, I've already I've already pre pre purchased the game and um, I'm good to go. <clears throat> What's up, Johnny? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Uh, but starting in uh, a couple of weeks, I'll be streaming on Monday nights as well. Because uh, uh, my wife's taking a class on Monday nights. And so, not to say that I couldn't stream on Monday nights either, but I do like to have uh, uh, time during the week to, to hang out. So I, I might be streaming on Monday nights and not Tuesdays or Wednesdays or Thursdays, but I don't know. Um, we'll see. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, had a good day. Thanks for asking. Uh, give me ten minutes. Uh oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Cerebella. Can't turn down a fan. Misfortune.
gonna do this all day. Ow, never mind. <laughs> Come on, man! This. Why is. Felia's moving like a lightning bolt. Can you imagine if that rolled over to final stand again? I would go nuts. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> uh, I didn't finish my thoughts. So tomorrow night I'm going to set up Diablo 4 late at night. And uh, hopefully it works fine. I can stream and uh, I'll set up my character and maybe play around for a little bit. Or until I get tired. I'm hoping that I'll just be like, I want to play all night. And so I'll go for as long as I can. Uh, but I do have a pretty full day on Saturday. Uh, but then on Sunday, I'm going to do nothing but play Diablo 4. So I will be assuming my stream is working fine. I will stream Diablo 4 all day on Sunday. Uh, I don't know exactly what time, but I'll figure that out. Who do I want to put in here? I'm just kind of leveling up random fighters here. Pinwheel! <laughs> Don't let me forget to uh, set up my deployments uh, before I sign off tonight. I always forget. Ah. Kingslayer. Right, we got Lovecrafted back in any moment now. Snake bite. And uh, we got model leader. There we go. Oh man. Ugh. That happens so much. It's crazy. Oh my god. What are you doing, Pink Boy? <laughs> I got times two. I can't use my love crafted at the moment though. Let's use Harlequin. Cerebella! Can't turn down a fan! Pro camera. I don't know. Not unblockable? Do I not have that unlocked? I don't think I do.
All right. Okay, Garrett, man, the uh, the usernames lately have been pretty weak. I haven't added anybody to the the uh, best names of 2023 list in a while, which is a bummer. Misfortune. Oh no, she's gonna res everybody. Final stand, come on. That's so stupid. I thought we fixed that. I thought we fixed it so that if, if you start the BB3 before a final stand triggers, then you're okay. But I guess we decided that that's just the way it is. Alright, Osprey, everyone's asleep. <laughs> Bunch of snoozers. That's fine, I know I stream late. Was it, remember that stream? A couple weeks ago, maybe last week, people kept asking me like why I was streaming so late. And I was like, leave me alone. <laughs> you guys are annoying. <laughs> maybe it's clear. Maybe I stream too late. That's what I guess what I get for having a full-time job. <laughs> I wish I could stream all day, but that's uh, that's not happening anytime soon. have this uh, detonate move equipped. I should get rid of that. <clears throat> I never use it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kiki D's nut, sissy boy. <laughs> uh, right. Um, down fan.
Oh my god. Shot myself and pain wheel. I think someone reported that once to me, and they're like, This is a bug. I did like a ton of damage to this opponent, and then I died. Like, yeah, because it reflected all the damage. That's what happens. Now you're doing the pro gamer move. Uh oh. What? Come on. Big boy. Ugh, thank you. That's so generous. Five times mustache champion. My god. <laughs> uh, was, that, that was a pro gamer move, and I did not expect that. That's really great. Thank you. Everybody everybody thank Pink Boyd if you got a uh, a gifted sub, by the way. That's really not it's always really nice when that happens. I always love that when I'm watching a stream and I'm like, oh, they just gave me a sub. That's awesome. I can finally use all these fun emotes. And I, it has been, hasn't it? I was like, oh my god, Pink Boy. <laughs> that was funny. That's, that must have been like the very beginning of my, uh, my uh, SGM streams here. I haven't seen Bax in a long time. I still talk to Bax every once in a while on uh, Discord, but uh, that's about it. Yeah, Bax has not been in my streams in a while. I think Bax, Bax is uh, heads down uh, with school usually every time I talk to him, so I'm, I'm assuming that uh, once he's got a break, uh, perhaps he'll be back and hanging out with us on stream. Oh, man. I don't want to use my energy refills. Isn't this a bounty though? Yeah. Alright. For bounties, I should probably use an energy refill. I'm just going to use the one though. So, Harlequin is back. Uh... <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings certified? What does that mean? I love B dubs. I haven't been. I haven't, I haven't had Buffalo Wild Wings in a while. Uh, Robo Fortune. But they got some. They got some good food. Uh, my wife and I have been hooked on Wingstop. We have a Wingstop pretty close to us, and uh, it's only their food has only gotten better. <laughs> it's almost like whoever runs that Wingstop like takes it very seriously. It's like. Because when we first ordered from them, it was like, this food's not very good. And then it just kind of like, got better. We're like, well, it's the closest, let's try it again. Maybe they maybe just had a bad night. You know, like, okay, it's actually a lot better now. Buffalo Wild Wings certified. <laughs> I choose to take that literally. And that move used to remove buffs pretty consistently, and now I'm just like never lucky. <laughs> Tried doing this by edge on the phone, didn't work. <sighs> All right. Um, 
something else that needs XP. Frayed ends. I'm still working on it. My Beast King is back. Guess who's back? Back again. Beast King's back. 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 Beast King. <clears throat> Tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day too, so I might be doing a slightly tipsy uh, Diablo 4 stream as well. Uh, anybody in chat playing Diablo 4 this weekend? It's a, it's a curious uh, question there. It's a open. It's not an open beta. It's a closed beta test so I'm assuming that they're just they always do this on these big triple-a games so it's kinda like this will be like their first round basic it's a stress test usually it's like how many people can we get but not too many people this is just how many people can we get you know let's get a, a, a decent amount of people test our servers right so I wouldn't be shocked if like I, I sit down tomorrow night to set up my 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 character and it just doesn't work because the servers are down, right? It's a very realistic possibility. <laughs> I remember launch, launch day of World of Warcraft, the game just didn't work. I was able to create my character, but that was like it. I played for like an hour and everything crashed. <laughs> and that happened for a month. Like every single day the servers were down for like a month. Or at least it, it, yeah, that was pretty consistently down. That was, that was a long time ago, but anyways. So it's very possible that Diablo 4 won't even really work that well until Sunday. You know, just knowing how games like this just work. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'll be playing it tomorrow night. So, it's if you pre-ordered it, you can play this weekend. Or if you get a, uh, like, if you order food from KFC, like this special Diablo meal, you actually get a beta key to play Diablo 4 this weekend. Uh, you're on your PC and done it. What I mean, certified, I mean being somehow reliable around the clock since I moved in to NorCal. Love the job, but how? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Edge on the phone. You're using Microsoft Edge on your phone? You're so brave. I can't use Edge. I tried, on my, at least on my desktop here. And I was like, ah, it's just too funky. It's just tough to compete with Chrome, man. I've been using Chrome for so long. Microsoft even said they'd send me a $5 Amazon gift card if I used Edge for two weeks. And that, was, that's on my, that was on my new laptop. And uh, I was like, I don't use this laptop enough, so I don't think I cashed in on it. Um, number Crunch or RoboFortune? Great question. Um, she was added. Um, Almost a year ago, exactly, uh, because she was created as a celebration of our um, five-year Skullgirls mobile anniversary and our 10-year Skullgirls second encore or Skullgirls original anniversary, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, as you can see, Number Cruncher has the Hidden Variable Studios colors, so she kind of has this uh, nice uh, uh, dark orange uh, coloration there along with the uh, I don't even know what color the uh, it's kind of like a grayish hue um, and then the nice uh, the nice beige uh, kind of pastel pastel white mixed in there too so uh, your extermination coming soon I think the coming soon is strictly a reference to our promise of uh, guilds <laughs> That's literally been in the game since launch. Uh, but Number Cruncher is a extremely exclusive variant um, to celebrate uh, the variant and to celebrate our our, uh, our ten year and five year anniversaries. Uh, she was only available at in person events. So um, at all the events we we were at last year, so Anime Expo. Evo, and I think we were at, I think we went to Frosty Faustings. I don't think Number Cruncher was in the game yet. I think there was one more event. Um, so you can get her there. Uh, and then we also give her away 
in our online giveaways. So whenever I do a giveaway, I give away one of them. Um, and then same with Juju. And then uh, 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 I think other influencers, they do their giveaways, we'll, get, we'll, we'll include her. Um, so yeah, she's very rare and tough to get. Um, but yeah, just come to the giveaways and get lucky. That's all I can say. Uh, I have talked to Zug and um, Juju about, you know, and Celsi, like how can we have her be a little more attainable? Like, can we create something that people can accomplish? The idea was that you would do something out in the real world that was Skullgirls related and then you get rewarded with a number cruncher, so that's, we're still brainstorming that. So hopefully in the future, uh, yeah, kind of like Necro Breaker Squiggly, but uh, much more rare. Um, so like, for example, like I had a thing where it's like, if I saw someone playing Skullgirls Mobile, like while I'm riding the bus or something, and I do take the bus here in LA sometimes, because I just, I like to, uh, then I'd be like, hey, I, I, I'm gonna send you a number cruncher because you're playing Skullgirls Mobile, that's awesome. Um, and that's just one of the variants we created because we also have uh, fan favorite Beowulf, who is like a inverse of our hidden variable colors. I've got three of them. <laughs> so hidden variable studios colors again. So kind of the orange and then that kind of like dark, uh, that dark gray, navy bluish kind of color. Now this is much more common. Uh, but we still give him away at, at in-person events and the giveaways. Now the catch is that in the giveaways, at least mine, and I think Juju's as well, if, if whoever wins, you win what you win, but you also win a fan favorite Beowulf. So, um, there you go. So that's how you get both of those characters. So glad you asked. But uh, I don't know, I, I would imagine that like if someone like went out of their way and did something like really cool Skullgirls related out in the world, uh, that we might send that person uh, a number cruncher or at least a fan favorite. Um, nope, do not quote me on that, no promises, but I'm just saying like my commitment, and I've shared this with HVS and the team is like, you know, we want to kind of recreate that experience of going to a live event whatever that is so what if somebody creates their own live event like you know you know what do we do in that situation can we send that person some goodies like to thank them for you know that stuff can't watch streams on TikTok. that's uh that's coming to america pretty soon it sounds like <laughs> um uh, literally, like, uh, TikTok is on the verge of being banned in the United States. Um, I, I, f I don't know exactly why. Uh, <laughs> congrats, you got me dedicated on doing something now just to see the chances. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I know that the owners of TikTok have to go in front of our, our, uh, our crazy government and uh, testify to something. I don't know what, but they they have to do something or they're gonna get banned uh, in the United States as well. Um, I'm assuming it's because they're collecting data, which all these apps do, but it's, I guess, instead of, you know, Facebook selling your data to people here in America, it's TikTok selling your data to people over there in China, which, you know, as a, as, as the United States, it's kind of like, yeah, shouldn't, kind of don't want that. <laughs> but I really don't know. I don't, I don't think it's a huge concern to me at least, but, um, I don't use TikTok. I made a TikTok account literally so my wife could send me videos of puppies because she was annoyed that I had to look at her phone to see all these videos of animals. She's like, I want you just to open your phone and see all the fun things I send you. And it's like, all right, fine. So I made a TikTok. <laughs> I was like, why, what do I need TikTok for? This is yet another thing. There's like so many things. I was like, Twitter is enough. 
I'm happy with Twitter. I'm I'm happy with how unhappy I am being on Twitter. I'll say that. Because Twitter is its own its own nonsense. Streaming skull curls every day till I get a number crunch. <laughs> Ooh, big dodge. Yep. Yeah, but occasionally I'll get people on Discord being like, hey, how do I get a number cruncher? And I'm like, well, here's how. It's pretty tough to do. Because it's like the in-person events right now are only in the United States, right? And we have so many players around the world that, you know, they can't make the trip out to Evo in Las Vegas. I mean, our average player is like, you know, in their mid-teens, according to our uh, our statistics. You know, so it's kind of like, yeah, hey, I'm 14 and I live in Russia. I can't fly to Las Vegas. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I'm I'm I'm, I'm brain I've been brainstorming, just kind of like, what can we create to uh, give people an opportunity to earn number cruncher uh, more often? Because it's still rare. If we made it, like, if we made it take effort, then people, some people would do it, and some people wouldn't, right? Ooh, creature of habit. That's like the only double that I actually would, that I would actually use, I think. <laughs> or have an interest in using. Uh... Because I do want Jawbreaker, but only because I like the card art. <laughs> the frame that we chose. Give you X spot for Robo Fortune. <laughs> Whew. Ooh, a trigger happy. Didn't see that coming. My, my wife is digging into all the uh, the things for Super Mario World tomorrow. Apparently, they have like reservations for the for the Mario Kart ride and uh, other things. So, strategizing that's the thing. These, these amusement parks now, like you gotta like plan ahead. At Disneyland, you can, well, the moment you get into the park at Disneyland, you can go on the app and put yourself in line for their Star Wars ride because it's so popular. And then it tells you like, come back between four and five. That's like your window to ride this ride, which is great because then you can go do other stuff. Um, but it seems like probably all the parks do this now. Um. Cerebella. Can't turn down a fan. Man, I haven't been to Disneyland. The last time we, I went to Disneyland was right before uh, everything got shut down back in 2020. It went like February or March of 2020. It's crazy. Yeah, my mustache grew. I guess it did in three years, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> to join the cult, you just got to stop shaving. And when people ask you why you stop shaving, you just say you're 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 bored and you don't like shaving. You're too lazy, that's the better answer. Too lazy. That was so funny, I was at a at one of my actual beard and mustache meetings. We were volunteering at our local food bank and uh, some other volunteers were like asking these guys like, why do you grow a beard? And I was like, and instead of these guys saying, 
because I like the way it looks, or I think it's cool, or it's fun. I get to do competitions. It was a whole world I discovered. Like, all the stuff, they're just like, Oh, it's because I'm lazy. I was like, lazy? You're in a beard club. Why would you say you grow a beard because you're lazy? It's a weird thing to say. But anyways, I don't know. Don't know where those guys are now. <laughs> Ah. Sometimes I can time. I've gotten better at timing my uh, my projectiles just right, so they're not blocking. Not that time though. Boom, baby. Only thing that grows are the side pegs. You can grow those down like this. Get some nice chops, and then connect it right here. That'd look cool. I've been tempted to try that, but my mustache is too long now. I gotta like set my alarm. 6 a.m. I'm getting up. I got yay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to end my stream in about 15 minutes here, just so I can, uh, you know, get to bed at a reasonable hour. I was literally falling asleep on the couch watching Mandalorian tonight. You know, part of that blame is on Mandalorian. It was a very, pretty slow episode tonight. Uh, hashtag mild spoiler alert. Lord Empanaden. That's pretty funny. Uh, what do I have left to do here? Can I do I have do I have a 30k team? I have it right here, but I don't have the energy for it. I might switch over to Marvel Snap for the remaining uh, 10 minutes or so of my stream, just for fun. Kind of want to. I have eight minutes. By the way, is there plans on adding a third bronze slot? Curious to mainly see what you guys come up with. A third bronze slot? So you mean like, like a, a new bronze character, for, a new bronze variant for all characters? Uh, we have thought of that, but there are no current plans to do that. Uh, but we do think that would be really, really cool, and it's uh, definitely something we've considered. It's just. Add it to the list of all the cool stuff we want to do, right? <laughs> it's just, there's so many things that we want to do with Skullgirls Mobile. It's just, it's just, uh, you know, what makes the most sense. I mean, it, you know, just to be straight, what's going to make us money? <laughs> because, you know, Skullgirls Mobile doesn't exist unless it makes money, and we're we're very happy with the fact that it does. But there's serious strategy and planning around like what gets added to the game and w and when and uh so it's just kind of you know just one of those things um so i mean as you know we're a pretty small studio so what we uh what we build and put into the game is pretty meticulously planned out um hence why guilds have taken so long because guilds is like a huge massive undertaking um, but uh, we have uh, done we started to lay the groundwork uh, for guilds at least so the design team has uh, started to, to, to look at the very very basic uh, plans for that um, all right, I'm gonna play some Marvel snap I've just been kind of thinking about it and just I, I want to play it I want to play it on stream right now, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Marvel Snap. Um, all right, let's go do that. Hear the clacky clack of my new keyboard. My uh, my extra life keyboard I just got. I'm very excited. Thanks to your generous donations, they gave me a fun keyboard. It's got lights, it's got lights on it and everything. It's pretty cool. Uh, waiting to see if you guys drop for the fourth character when I spent a hundred bucks, yes. Uh, well, you know that Mar Marie uh, is next. So we've got, Mar we're working on Marie. Um, 
but right now it's it's mostly just for second encore uh, working on that and then uh, but yeah black dahlia is in so um, I'm just kind of Yeah, Black Dolly's in, and uh, we're working on Marie. That's pretty much it. Uh, but after that, I have no idea uh, who's we have. I have no. There's no no murmurings. I don't know who's after Marie. So, ooh, that's a cool variant. Wow. Uh, I've been tempted to buy. I bought the other offer that they they had out, which I think is they put down here. So I bought this. When I saw this offer, I was like, whoa, look at that Sentinel. I was like, whoa, look at that Forge. And I was like, oh, cool, Angel. I really love uh, Forge and I really love the Sentinel variant. Really, really cool. So I was like, all right, fine. So I bought this, um, but I still had some gold left over. So they've been doing these like, like really short offers, but they're pretty good deals because for, there's not a lot of offers that have tokens in it. And this is a really great, ratio for gold to tokens and tokens are pretty awesome <laughs> um, but I saved up my tokens and I got Kang as some of you know but I think I will buy this offer I kind of like it I don't spend my gold on much I spend it on I spent my gold on these offers down here but I don't think there's too much else coming out this month um, but we'll see uh, when will Second Encore come to Xbox One or Series X? Uh, very soon. Uh, it's our—I mean, you can already play it on Xbox One, uh, but we're we're pushing uh, the season pass to Xbox and Xbox One and Series X uh, pretty soon. So keep an eye out for it. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this. Whoa! Look at that crystal variant. Whoa! That's cool. I'm gonna screenshot that. I gotta share this with my coworkers. So cool! What a what a cool card! I'm like, yes, I actually got a good one. I was kind of nervous about it. I, I bought this offer just for the tokens, but I'm like, what? Um, I don't use crystal much, uh, but uh, it'd be nice to to slot her into some sort of deck. Maybe I could use her in a. I've been working on a, most of my decks lately. I've been Cerebro decks, so maybe I do a a Cerebro deck with four four cost cards. That could be fun. 65 Spectrum Boosters. Alright. <laughs> and I finally made a deck that's actually been a lot of fun to use that has Umbaku in it. Umbaku is like the worst card in the game. And I've somehow made it work somewhat. It still doesn't happen very often that he actually hops out of my deck. Ugh. Oh. Dude, Scorpion is so annoying. Honestly, it's like, get a life. You put Scorpion in your deck, just go get a life. Seriously. Do something else with your life. It's just a drag. Anyways, I'm not gonna quit. I still have plenty of cards to use. It's probably not even a real player. It's probably just some, some joker. I'm gonna mute him. <laughs> some AI bot nonsense. Great, now we've got Death's Domain, not what I wanted. Um, let's get Goose in there. I don't really want to use Angel. I want, I'd like to save Lockjaw so I can use Angel. Streaming till you get good at Skullgirls or streaming Skullgirls so I get Number Cruncher. <laughs> All right, good luck, Pink Boy. Name's Cable. Oh, you know what? I just played Cerebro, so I should play Cerebro or play Mystique. Yeah, and then I'll play Cable.
There's nothing I can play on Death's Domain. So. Alright, we've got Blue Marvel. Let's see if he juices up the sunspot, because then I could use Shang-Chi, but then my other stuff is all messed up. Unfortunately. But maybe I do use Shang-Chi. But if I use Shang-Chi, then this goes down back to frickin' 2. 2-4. Two, that does just mess everything up. I can't play Iron Man there anyways. Um, okay. Let's just do this. I'll just destroy Lockjaw for the heck of it. Ugh, what an annoying turd. Wow, well, actually tied. Uh, he wins here, though, unfortunately. Yeah, Baku! Did it save me? Is it a tie? <laughs> Umbaku! Wow. The nuts! I'm gonna do Iceman, and then I don't I don't want Clintar to combine everything, so I'm just gonna leave it alone for a minute. Maybe I'll play Nightcrawler there if I need to. Ooh, Vibranium Mines. It's after turn four, so I can do Nightcrawler and then move Nightcrawler to the Vibranium Mines. Um, or I can just get I can just get Lockjaw in there, but no, because then Lockjaw's gonna kind of summon freaking stupid stuff. Yeah, I, I think I'm out of luck. I just gotta do it. Not ideal, but oh well. I don't have to, and I don't have to play the, the, the Vibranium if I get it, but um, I have a suspicion that it's going to mess me up here. I should have done this first. Oops. Because if Mystique comes out, it doesn't copy anything. But if I play Cerebro first and then this, and Mystique then comes out, it actually copies Cerebro, not M'Baku. Yeah. That's all right. I still, I might be able to get away with it here. No room for Umbaku. This guy just did Mr. Negative though, but that's only on his deck, so he would have just drawn a card that was flipped just now. Oh, you punk! 
I never see Rogue. Wow, what a turd. Alright, that was a that's my dumb dumb meme deck, but uh, I'm gonna go back to my usual little C little cerebro. This is all three power cards. And then I mix in Bast and Valkyrie uh, to help keep things at three the best I can. But I gotta play around all sorts of dumb dumb uh, locations. Oh, look at that Sentinel, man. What a rad variant. Felt nice coming back to SGM and played on your break in your free time now again in high school. <laughs> You said SKM, you mean SGM? Skullgirls Mobile? Oh man, that messed me up. Set all cards, so this will set her to three actually, so that's okay. Um, Mystique I can't play yet. Uh, the armor doesn't help, but I guess I can play Sentinel some more. Cause this will just give me another two, it'll give me a two, three. Oh, Darkhawk, wow. Wow, well, let's get rid of Darkhawk. Actually, Valkyrie doesn't help here, but it could help the Rock here, but I think I'd rather just play Shang-Chi and get rid of it. Wow, <laughs> rude. Um, let's do this. Well, I hope I get Cerebro. God, I did not get Cerebro this whole, this whole game. That is a bummer. I kind of need that to win. I don't think I can win now. I have Killmonger. That doesn't do anything, though. Bummer. All right, I'm going to play one more with this deck, and then I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for joining me on such a short stream. First black doll of the shiny golden gunner, nice. What's the uh, what's the other missions I got? I just got one. Upgrade a card. If I do eight upgrades, what cards do I have to upgrade? Cable, crystal, who I just got. Deadpool. Love this black cat variant. Guess I could upgrade it once at least. Um. Oh, I finally have enough for Umbaku. Yeah. I've got 500, so I could technically do like, oh, this Dan Hip Iron Man. Yeah, let's do it. Infinity. 
Ah, oh, so cool. It's a great Iron Man. I am having fun using Iron Man again. I haven't used him in a while. Nice. Ooh. Upgrade three more. I have no credits to upgrade anything else, so um, I'm gonna play one more with this deck, and then I'm gonna call it a night. Ugh. But uh, yeah, stay tuned tomorrow night. I, I didn't post anything about it. There's my Kang. Looks good in purple. But uh, it'll be after I get back. Oh, Rickety Bridge! I love Rickety Bridge with Colossus. Let's go! It's so rickety. I love that Colossus can survive the Rickety Bridge. No problem. Um... Let's see. Alright, I've got Bast in hand, so let's give him a play here. I can probably just sacrifice him so that uh, I can make some more space here. But always good with Cerebro. I'm gonna play Kang to see what you're gonna play. So I got Mystique next. I got Mystique in hand, which is good. Let's see what you got. What you got coming? Oh, you do have Venom. Okay. Dude, your Venom was worthless. Still gonna try to venom, alright. Buffs it up, but I don't think he sees he's not gonna see what's coming here. Which is my final play. I almost played Mystique on Cosmo, which is never a good idea. I've, I've made that mistake many times. Mystique is not an ongoing card. It is a reveal on reveal card that copies an ongoing card. So you gotta be careful with, with her. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, late tomorrow night uh, with some Diablo 4. Fingers crossed it all works out. And uh, I don't know how long I'll stream tomorrow night. Depends on how tired I am. But uh, I might be so excited I just stream for at least a few hours. So we'll see. Uh, then I'll be back. I might stream on Saturday night. But uh, I'm going to spend the day with my wife. And we're going to be uh, eating, making Irish food and uh, drinking all day and, and having a blast. So uh, that's our Saturday. Um, but Sunday I'll be back with some more Diablo 4 at least. And then uh, back again next week with my usual schedule. So... Uh, Pink Boyd, shout out! Thank you for the gifted sub. Very, uh, very generous of you. And uh, uh, congrats to Prismo on the resub. And uh, I think someone else resubbed who wasn't Pink Boyd, but maybe it was Pink Boyd. I'm thinking of so Pink Boyd. Thanks for the resub and the, the gifted subs. I'll do it again. <laughs> uh, Terminator Six, thanks for hanging out. Um, all right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again. Cheers. <laughs>